Hello everyone. In the previous few lectures, we have discussed about the normalization, normalization and the concept of functional dependency. And also we have discussed various types of normal forms. Now let us try to understand the concept in detail using the previous year question of GATE CAC branch. In GATE data science, they will ask simple question. So if you are able to solve previous year CAC question, then that is enough for this particular concept of normalization. So let's read the question first. In a relational data model. So what do you mean by relational data model? So our database is basically a relational data model because we have a different tables, right? We store a data in different uh, tables and there is some relationship among the tables, right? So this is what relational schema is, okay? Now the question is, which one of the following statement is true? So the first option is a relation with only two attribute is always in BCNF. So first you should know what is BCNF first. BCNF normal form. So what is the condition for BCNF? If I say alpha determine beta is a functional dependency, then what is the condition for BCNF? The condition for BCNF is left hand side must be a key of every functional dependency. I am saying every functional dependency, left hand side must be a key. For example, I have a relation A, B, C, comma, D, these four attributes and the functional dependency is like this. A determine B, B determine C, D, like this. Okay. Now, if you observe here, every functional dependency, the left hand side of every functional dependency must be a key. So, what is key here? If I take the closure of key, if I take the closure of key, it should give me all the attributes present in the relation R. Okay. Now, let us take the closure of left hand side of a functional dependency, that is A. So, if I take the closure of A, what I will get? A. From A, I will get B and from B, I will get C, D. Okay. Now, here for this particular functional dependency, the condition for B, C, N, F is getting satisfied. So, left hand side of functional dependency must be a key. But for every functional dependency, it must satisfy. Now, if you observe this B determines C, D. If I take the closure of B here, I will get B, C, D only. I will not get A. So, I will not get all the attributes present in the relation R. It means that B is not a key here. Okay. So for every functional dependency, left hand side must be a key. Then only I can say it is in BCNF. For this, so relation R is not BCNF because this functional dependency is not satisfying my condition. But for example, instead of B determine CD, I have one more functional dependency. For example, B determine A also. Now in that case, what will happen? A is my key, right? Right hand side is a key. But what about a B here? Now, if I take the closure of B, I am getting B, C, D and also from B, I am getting A. So, I am getting all the attributes of this particular relation R. Now, B is also a key. Okay. So, left hand side of every functional dependency is a key. Now, I can say my relation R is in B, C, N, F. Okay. So, this is very, very important point. Left hand side of Every functional dependency must be a key. Okay. So, left hand side must be a key of every functional dependency. Key means what? If you take the closure of any attribute, it should give all the attributes present in the relation R. So, left hand side must be a key. We are not care about the right hand side. It can be prime attribute or it can be non prime attribute. Doesn't matter. Left hand side must be a key. Okay. So, this is what the condition for BCNF is. Now, when I say the relation with only two attribute is always in BCNF. For example, I have a relation R having only two attribute A and B. Now, in this case, what is the possibility in the functional dependency? Either A can determine B or B can determine A or both functional dependency will be there. Only three cases are possible. First, A, depend, A determine B. Or B determine A or both the functional dependency will be there. In any of those cases, left hand side is a key here. Okay. If you observe, left hand side is a key here. 
if you take the closure of a you will get a b if you take the closure of b you will get b a that is basically a b only okay so here left hand side of every function dependency is a key so my relation r is in b c n f so for a relation with only two attributes, these are the only possibilities and in any cases left hand side will be a key so relation will always in b c n f so this statement is correct here not only in bcnf this relation r will be in 4nf also the highest normal form 4nf it means that it is in bcnf it means that it is in 3nf it means that it is in 2nf and also 1nf so please remember whenever any relation having only two attribute it is in 4nf bcnf 3nf 2nf 1nf also okay so i think this is clear to everyone now let's go to a second option so this is mcq question so option a is anyway correct but let us discuss about other options also so second option is if all attributes of a relation are prime attributes then the relation is in bcnf so we know the condition for bcnf that is left hand side must be a key of every functional dependency now what is prime attribute what is prime attribute here? If I say the candidate key is AB, for example, okay. So we have already discussed what are the prime attributes in the previous lecture. So please watch that uh, lecture before uh, solving the questions. For example, I say AB is a candidate key, and the relation is ABCD, for example. So what are the prime attributes? attribute which are part of candidate key that are basically prime attribute so here a and b are the part of candidate key so i can say a and b are prime attribute and what are non prime attribute the remaining are non prime attribute the remaining attribute which are not part of candidate key that will be my non prime attribute so here c and d will be my non prime attribute okay i hope you understand what is prime attribute and what is non prime attribute and the condition for bcnf now if this thing is clear to everyone now tell me whether this particular statement is correct or not just pause the video for a second and think about this particular uh, statement okay so when i say if all the attributes of a relation are prime attribute so let us consider uh, this only relation r a b c d and i am saying functional dependency is let us consider functional dependency as a b determine c d okay b determine c c determine a and d determine c okay now these are four other functional dependencies now first check what is the key here key means so the key means if i take a closure of attribute or set of attribute that should give me the all the attributes but in the relation r now if you observe here a b is candidate key okay a b is candidate key here because if i take a closure of a b i will get a b c d okay what about a c if i take a closure of c i will get c a b and from a b i will get d also so c is also candidate key here what about d determine c if i take the closure of d i will get a d from d determine c i will get c and from c i will get a b now here d is also candidate key here right now if you observe all are the prime attribute because a b c d are all part of candidate key so here all are the prime attributes right all the attributes of a relation are prime attribute then can i say this particular relation is in a bcnf no so left hand side is a key so this is satisfying left hand side is a key this also satisfied left hand side is the key this also satisfied but what about this particular thing b determine c so here prime attribute determining prime attribute here okay but what is the condition for bcnf left hand side must be a key for every functional dependency so here b is not a key okay so this functional dependency will violate the bcnf condition 
But here the statement is all the attributes of relation are prime attribute, then the relation isn't BCNF. No, this is not true. Okay, this is not true because even if all the attributes are prime attribute, but there can be functional dependency which will not satisfy this particular condition. Okay, so that's why option B is not correct. Now, what about C? Every relation has at least one non prime attribute. Every relation has at least one non prime attribute. Uh, no, that is also not correct. For example, R, A, B, C, D, and this is a functional dependency, and all are prime attribute. So, we cannot say that every relation has at least one non prime attribute. No, this is not correct. What about option number D? BCNF decomposition preserve functional dependency. No, this is not correct. So, there can be decomposition which is in BCNF but does not preserve dependency. So, remember one important point up to 3NF decomposition. We can say dependencies are preserved. Okay. Dependencies are preserved. But when I say BCNF, in case of BCNF decomposition, dependencies may or may not preserve. Okay. We cannot guarantee whether dependency will preserve or not. So, it is may or may not preserve. Okay, remember this important point. So, this statement is also not correct. So, correct option is option number A here. Okay, I hope you understand the concept behind each of the following statement. Right. So, that is it from this particular video. Every question you must know what is prime attribute, what is non prime attribute, how to find out candidate key, how to find out closure of attribute, what are the conditions for uh, various normal forms. These are the only thing that you need to apply in every question. Okay. So I have already covered that thing in the previous uh, videos. So just watch those videos and try to solve the problem based on that. You can solve any problem based on that. Okay. So that's it from this particular uh, video. Thank you.